Here we go again. Joao Neves has told Manchester United what they want to hear amid transfer links. Benfica starlet. Joao Neves is continuing to be heavily linked with a move to Man United ahead of the summer transfer window opening. With just over a week to go until the summer transfer window opens, speculation linking Benfica ace Joao Neves with a move to Manchester United is mounting. United have plans to strengthen their midfield options this summer, and Neves, 19, is a player they have been linked with consistently over the last few months. The youngster is regarded as one of the most promising central midfielders in Europe and is not light on suitors. Primarily a defensive midfielder, he fits the bill for what United are set to be looking for. The club is highly likely to say farewell to Casemiro this summer, meaning they will need a successor. The Brazilian regressed throughout the 2023-24 campaign, meaning he needs replacing. United need fresh legs at the base of the engine room. Despite only being 19, he has already played 75 times for Benfica, including nine appearances in the Champions League. He was a regular fixture in the team this season, making 55 appearances across all competitions. According to Portuguese outlet record, United have seen an opening bid of 51 millions of pounds rejected for the youngster. Neves's release clause is understood to be 105 millions of pounds, meaning the Reds have fallen well short. Whether United will go back in with a second offer remains to be seen, but they already have the knowledge that the midfielder has refrained from committing his future to Benfica, leaving the door open for a move elsewhere. Speaking back in February, the Portuguese, who has made the squad for the European Championship, said that, Staying at Benfica next year? I can't promise anything for next season. My wish at the moment is to stay at Benfica, and then we will see, you never know. The fact Neves has refused to rule out the prospect of leaving the Portuguese club could be music to United's ears. They need to recruit younger legs this summer, and Sir Jim Ratcliffe has already addressed the need to change their recruitment strategy. Neves is a player that fits that vision, but he is not going to be a cheap addition. United need to strike a fine balance between recruiting young players and not paying over the odds. Neves, however, has demonstrated all of the hallmarks of a player who has plenty of potential. He is solid in possession and has an excellent reading of the game. United have been searching for a long-term answer at the base of their midfield for several years, and Neves could be just the ticket. Benfica's demands, however, could decide United's chances of signing him, even if the midfielder would be open to a new challenge. Meanwhile, Manchester United are interested in West Ham United star Mohamed Koudis ahead of the summer transfer window. According to the Mirror, United want to improve up front and have thus identified Koudis as a potential target. The versatile playmaker amassed 18 goals and 7 assists in 48 appearances with the Hammers this season. The Red Devils, though, are also looking at Wolves star Matthias Kunha as well, again and again. In an interview with the Man UFC podcast, Gary Neville called for Sir Jim Ratcliffe to improve the club's infrastructure in the first step to help bring titles back to Old Trafford. Neville said, There are three things I feel that Manchester United have to do, or at least two they have to do, and one they should try and do. One is that we have to have the best stadium in the world. Two is that we have to have the best training ground in the world. And three is that we have to win. The third one, actually, I'm a little patient on. I'm a Manchester United fan. Things move in cycles. You can't always win. But if number one and two are right, and if you have the right people in the club, you've got a great chance of number three happening. Meanwhile, Jadon Sancho is reportedly in limbo as he waits for news on Eric Ten Hag's future. The winger, who spent the second half of the season on loan at Dortmund, would be open to an Old Trafford return should the manager be sacked. However, after his fallout with Ten Hag, he will be heading for the exit door should the boss remain in charge. So, Eric Ten Hag is set to find out if he will be sacked by Manchester United or not this week. The club began their end-of-season review after their FA Cup final win over Manchester City. Ten Hag was set to be axed if he lost that match, but with fan support high, there is a chance he is given another season in the job. The Dutchman has been away on holiday since victory at Wembley. So, over there, it's confirmed that it's two centre-back options in Manchester United this summer transfer window. Ben Jacobs says that. 
With Jared Brathwaite Maprisum Sakin Soror, the price is going to be the main thing that suitors want to understand, so Manchester United have looked at a range of defenders. Jean-Claire Todibo and Jared Branthwaite are two options that have substance to them. But with Branthwaite, all suitors, including Manchester United, have been waiting for an indication from Everton as to what the price is, and were patiently waiting and quite opportunistically so, when Everton had the points deduction, and when it was clear that Everton were in danger of going down, and at that point, around the mid-season mark or the early part of the year, there was a chance that the price might have been a bit more cut price. But now, Everton are safe. And even with their financial situation being a bit up in the air, this might be one that rumbles on a little bit. So, in the meantime, Man United star Rashford told to leave. William Gallus has urged Rashford to go. He told Genting Casino that, There will always be quality players who are interested in signing for Chelsea, but we have to ask if Rashford would want to leave Man United. Nobody knows the reason. Maybe he has a problem with Eric Ten Hag. If he leaves, then Rashford could stay. A player like Rashford, we want to see the exciting young player who broke through on fire, running everywhere and scoring beautiful goals. He had a lot of commitment then as well. Now he is not the same player. Maybe injuries have been a problem, and another club for a fresh start could be the right option, and Chelsea would provide this for him. The football arsenal play, and their system, would not suit. He's a very intelligent player, and probably the best attacker in the world, but he needs to receive the ball all the time, again and again. With just over a week to go until the summer transfer window officially opens, Manchester United are still yet to announce a decision on Eric Ten Hag's future. Following the 2-1 win over Manchester City in the FA Cup final at Wembley on May 25th, Ineos opened their end-of-season review, with the outcome of that poised to decide Ten Hag's fate. However, it is believed that review is still ongoing. Ten Hag, despite leading United to a second trophy in as many seasons at Old Trafford, is under pressure as a result of the club finishing 8th in the Premier League table. It marked their lowest finish in the Premier League era. Ongoing uncertainty about the Dutchman's future risks impacting United's transfer plans. The summer transfer window will open on June 14th, and big changes are expected to take place ahead of next season. United have drawn up a plan of action and want to sign a centre-back, a midfielder, and a forward as their three leading priorities. They are being linked with a plethora of names to fill those respective roles. Meanwhile, Fiorentina sporting director Daniele Prade has confirmed that Sofian Amrabat wants to stay in the Premier League amid ongoing uncertainty about his future. Amrabat joined United on a season-long loan deal last September, and the Reds have the option to land him on a permanent basis. Amrabat recently admitted that staying at Old Trafford is an option. Prade said, I would keep him in Florence, but it doesn't seem like what he has in mind. I think he wants to stay in the Premier League, but we haven't heard from anyone yet since. Elsewhere. According to a report by The Guardian, United captain Bruno Fernandes is pushing for a new contract at United. It is RP ordered that he wants a new deal that would take him into the top pay bracket with Marcus Rashford, Jadon Sancho, and Casemiro. The Portuguese international is currently being heavily linked with an exit from M16, being linked with the likes of Bayern Munich, Barcelona, and Saudi Arabian outfit Al Nasser. On the other side, why Forsen is leaving United on a free transfer? Omari Forsen is poised to leave United on a free transfer this summer after turning down new contract proposals, the Manchester Evening News understands. Forsen, who was handed his full debut by Eric Ten Hag against Fulham in February, was expected to sign a new deal at Old Trafford back in the winter. Talks, however, hit a snag, and proposals from United were rejected by the players' representatives. 